You're detained. For what? Put your hands behind your back. What, what am I detained? You're detained right now. For what? Put your hands behind For what? Your You're detained. For what? For the moment right For now. What? Until it's I get done with hands this. Off You're not going to cuss. Disorderly conduct. Put your hands behind your back. Hey everybody, it's James Freeman, and today's video is coming to us from the Tyrant Hydrant on YouTube. The video is out of Gassaway, West Virginia, where he ends up getting arrested by a tyrant cop right in front of the mayor for saying the F word. And yes, it is absolutely legal to cuss in public. And any legislation or ordinances that are written that say it's not are unlawful. The First Amendment wasn't necessary to protect speech that people agree with or that people like. It was necessary to protect speech that we knew the majority of people probably wouldn't like. You're not going to cuss disorderly conduct. Put your hands behind your back. Can I help you? No. Huh? Good for you. All right. The guy in the striped shirt you see waving right here is the mayor of the town. Hey, man. What's going on? I'm just filming the car. <laughs> I'm just making sure he does his job right. I don't, I just, I don't like cops. Well, especially this one. This one watched, he watched two state troopers beat the f out of me. And he didn't do nothing about it. And then he lied about it. Two state troopers beat the f out of me while I was handcuffed. And this guy here that this guy employs watched it happen and lied about it. That guy that you employ, he's a tyrant. Luke Johnson, right there in that car, he's a f tyrant. I'm going to tell you the one time. Tell me, what, tell me whatever I'm you want to tell me. I ain't interfering right with nothing. Cuss one more I know. Time and you fuck. Get fuck. Arrest me. Fuck. You can't get arrest me. No, I'll stand right here. You don't control me, boy. He thinks he's going to control me. He, I know my fucking rights, boy. I want you to arrest me. Come arrest me and get this lawsuit. Come get a lawsuit. You're detained. For what? Put your hands behind your back. What, what am I detained? You're detained right now. For what? Put your hands For behind what? your back. You're detained. For what? For the moment right For now. What? Until get I get done with this. Off, You're not going to cuss. Disorderly conduct. Put your hands behind your back. Right now. I didn't do nothing wrong. Put your hands I behind your back. Nothing. I didn't do nothing wrong. Put your other hand I behind your back. I have done nothing wrong. Put your other hand behind your back. I did nothing wrong. Stop. I did nothing wrong. You're watching this. I did Stop. nothing wrong. What's he arresting me for? You I said mad. disorderly conduct. You said you're detained right now. So stop. You're getting a lawsuit, boy. Nope, you're getting a ticket. Oh! Give me a ticket. Give me a ticket, buddy. Now you're going to get a lawsuit. Get I'm going to have your job, boy. Get it back. Hey, Luke, man. Put I'm your feet in. I'm going to have your job, boy. Put your feet in. What are you detaining uh, me for? I just told you. What? Hit me. Put your feet in. Hit me. Hit me like your boys did. Hit me like hey, your Luke. boys did. Hey, what's going on? Two, three. Send me a. Beat the fuck out of me like your boys did. I didn't do nothing. Really I have done nothing. Pick up my phone, Jeremy. Did you, hey, Jeremy, where's the right there? I'm going to take it from me. Uh, what law is that, though? What law? Hey, Fuck. Hey, hey, that's enough. That's, that's enough. enough. I'll do whatever I want. You don't control me, I'm boy. I'm not controlling you. Get the language here. It's not talking about Fuck. 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 Arrest me. In 1968, Mr. Cohen was seen in the Los Angeles County Courthouse, quote, wearing a jacket bearing the words, Fuck the Draft, which were plainly visible, unquote. He was arrested, convicted of disturbing the peace, and sentenced to 30 days in prison. The California Court of Appeal upheld his conviction, and the California Supreme Court declined to hear the case. Cohen then appealed to the United States Supreme Court, which accepted the case to consider whether the conviction infringed on his First Amendment freedom of expression. Writing for the court, Justice John Harlan held that Cohen's conviction was unconstitutional. Cohen's conviction rested in large part on the fact that women and children could clearly see the message. 
In that day and age, the protection of women and children from such vulgarity was considered a valued social interest. But Harlan argued that protection of sensitive persons alone could not overcome Cohen's right to communicate his message, even by use of offensive language. The court argued that in a society as diverse and populous as the United States, the free exchange of ideas, even offensively expressed ideas, is a virtue worthy of First Amendment protection. Allowing the state to prohibit the public display of one offensive word would open the floodgates to the state restricting even more language and inevitably to the state prohibiting the expression of certain ideas. This, the court said, was what the First Amendment was intended to prevent. The court has continued to uphold First Amendment protections for those who choose to express themselves offensively. The reason cops almost never know the law is because they're not accountable to it. So there's no reason for them to even try to learn it. Now, if we started throwing criminals like this in prison, as we should, I'll bet you anything, they would learn the law pretty damn quick. I love how cops like to act like it's not a big deal for them to violate your rights. And you can just go to court, argue your side, and if you win, you win. The problem is there's still no consequence when the cop is wrong, and there is when you're wrong. But according to the actual law, federal law 18 U.S.C. 242, deprivation of rights under color of law is a crime. Every single time that a police officer violates your rights under color of law, they have quite literally committed a crime. This is such a serious crime that the punishment for it is supposed to be 10 years in prison or death. I know we talk about qualified immunity all the time and how it needs to be abolished, but the only thing qualified immunity does is keep you from successfully suing the government when they violate your rights. But qualified immunity doesn't apply and isn't supposed to protect them from criminal prosecution. We need cops prosecuted criminally for violating rights because violating rights is a crime. The entire purpose of people creating governments was to create some type of institution in which we could protect life, liberty, and property and get restitution for those who have their life, liberty, or property taken. But quite literally, the government that we have created now takes more life, liberty, and property than any private criminals, and they get away with it. The laws are already in place to be able to criminally prosecute every single cop that violates someone's rights. And I guarantee that if we started doing that, the cops would learn the law very quickly. There's no reason to worry about your actions when there's zero accountability for them. I'm gonna tell you the one time. Tell me right what, now. tell me whatever you want to tell me. I ain't right interfering now. with nothing. Just one more I know. Time and you fuck. Get... Fuck. Arrest me. Fuck. You can't get arrest me. No, I'll stand right here. You don't control me, boy. He thinks he's gonna control me. He I know my fucking rights, boy. I want you to arrest me. Come arrest me and get this lawsuit. Come get a lawsuit. You're detained. For what? Put your hands behind your back. What, what am I detained? You're detained right now. For what? Put your hands For what? Your You're detained. For what? For the moment right For now. What? Until get I get done with hands this. Off me. You're not going to cuss. Disorderly conduct. Put your hands behind your back. Right now.